Hmm. Are we here yet? I don't know. Well, tonight's show is a little different. Instead of bringing you some music, we're going to bring you a geology documentary. It's called Cape May Diamonds. And what are Cape May Diamonds? Well, let's look over here. These are Cape May Diamonds. Hmm. Cape May Diamonds. Let's have a closer look at them, shall we? Some interesting, rather large specimens here. Yes, these are Cape May Diamonds. Different size, shape, and color. Now, just the other day I found this specimen right here. This is the largest one I've found to date. And some people might look at these and be like, oh, sea glass. Incorrect. This is not sea glass. These are quartz crystals, like the ones you see in the New Age shop. But these have been tumbled around in the ocean. And these I did not find in Cape May. These were found in Belmar, New Jersey. But nonetheless, they are quartz. And what is quartz? Quartz is somewhat similar to a diamond. It's, I think, number seven on the hardness scale. Diamonds, of course, are number ten. Diamonds are pure carbon, and quartz, which you're looking at here, is carbon and silicone. Thus making it a little, in fact, a lot less valuable. But what is it that's fascinating about Cape May diamonds? Well, they're kind of boring. But the only excitement actually comes in finding them. Now, these are really neat specimens, actually. This, this one is, um, what I'm going to do is kind of turn the light around here. And I'm going to put the light, let me see if he can actually get behind this one. Now, if you look... It's kind of difficult. Let me see. Move over into the light here. And you can see. Just how clear. These are. It's actually not really that good. To, it's kind of hard. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good close-up, but this is a pretty big one. But the other second largest one that I found, this is about the size of a Kennedy half dollar. Hmm. And uh, some other, this really cool, and this one's like really cool. It's like perfect really good and then this one is kind of yellow I can't really see you can really see the color better when I just kind of look at them like this it's really much better view if I can just steady things here and bring the light down even a little bit more like that and you can really just kind of see the clarity That one, that's the neat little yellow one that I was just looking at. Kennedy half dollar size one. And no, they are not sea glass again. One of the stupid jokes that I came up with. You know, a lot of times people do find a piece of sea glass. 
and uh, they mistake it for a Cape May diamond. And they show it to me and they say, oh, you see a Cape May diamond? Not me. I see glass. Ah, stupid joke. But here's, there's also some little tiny ones here too. They might not look that tiny because it's close up. Let me see if I can bring, bring the, it's a little closer over here. These are smaller ones. It's actually a very good view. But anyway, these are, you can actually look this up. I'm not the only person that knows about this. But, um, just keeping my mind occupied with geology on a Sunday night. They are pretty neat looking. But I've been collecting this bunch for a while. This one's like a smoky quartz. ones I'll take these little guys and sort of use them as backup here man I need to get a life actually I have one but I do find things like this fascinating Some of the nicest ones there. Let me see how that picture comes out. Do -do -do -do. Do -do. Yep, that's what they are. Close-ups. This one really is cool. Look at that. Look how perfect it is. Let's run and see how that looks down. Anyway, that's a nice little collection. There's a few more. diamonds <clears throat> you'll find them in the pebble wash down on the beach what's that I think we we have a word from our sponsor I know you've all seen this guy before. This is the guy that does all my financing. He's uh, very happy with tonight's presentation. And uh, he says he's tired, wants to go to bed. Good night.